Welcome to Mommy's Chef. My name is Heidi, and today we're gonna go to Aldi. I went there once. They opened one near me, and I'm so excited because I get to like save money. I love saving money, so I can use it for other stuff. You know, <laughs> I don't know. You can do charity, whatever you like. To do. I'm gonna make some meals. I have already meal plans because I I was looking at the brochure and see what was available. So I think I'm gonna make a roasted tomato best soup you're gonna love it take some stock because i like making my stocks when i i purchase a whole chicken so i just dump it in my like a pot a huge pot and with a few vegetables so i can have like stock ready to go let me show you so i can have my soups there's that fat right there and that's like look it's so like thick and like gelatinous so that's what you want for your bones and if you're healing of any sort you want to make your stocks, you know, and add so much flavor. So I'm probably going to make a soup. I don't know if I want to film the soup because it's probably going to be like broccoli and potato. And I already filmed that. Go ahead and go potato if you want. But I like keeping these around. I throw in the chicken right away because I don't, the less you handle chicken, the better. So throw it in a pot, start in, debone it, get all that chicken out, and then use it for various recipes. I'm so excited because I get to go to Aldi today. They just opened one a couple of weeks ago, but long story, I haven't been able to be here. I came in once and I got a couple things, uh, but I wasn't able to do any price comparison and everything. And I really want to see if it's really worth your time and money. So we'll see. I want to go in there so badly. <laughs> you need a quarter so you can get a cart and bag. And I bought a bag last time I was here. It was like a dollar. It's a freezer bag, so it's not bad. Though. So I'll it. Dollar for bag of tomatoes? That's pretty good. But these are just like the, the weekly deals. Okay, we're gonna grab some more. I think I'm gonna make a soup. A tomato soup? Bisque. Mm. And these are cheaper at Trader Joe's for organic pink ladies. So are the gallows. Yeah, so I won't be purchasing those here. I think it's just the weekly deals are really good. Ooh, zucchini is 90 cents for conventionally. It's pretty good. That's a good price in organic. Mm. Ooh, that's a good price too. Same as Trader Joe's. Do something for organic. Okay. I'm gonna get some tomatillos. A dollar is not bad. I have jalapenos. Ooh, rattles. I mean, Colanos. <laughs> Do they have any? Oh. No, they don't have it. Onions. Hmm. I'm just gonna get some of these for the kids. Ooh, that's not much. 50 cents, that's pretty good. Celery, avocados, two. Well, that's pretty good. Get a little bag of these guys. They have Halloween stuff, cookies and cupcakes and brownies. Organic pizzas for dollars. Yeah. Oh, baby potatoes to something? That's not bad. Pears are cheaper at Trader Joe's for the organic ones. Three something? That's not bad. Let me get some of these. Ooh, actually, this, you get a lot. Oh, let's get a pineapple tip. Oh, it shows you where they came from. That's pretty cool. Hmm. They have a lot of bread. I bought the... Ooh, let's get these for burgers. Yosh. I should buy the sourdough. But I got some at Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna get it. Ooh, look at these skinny bagels. That's cool. 100 calories? That's not bad. That's pretty cool. I might get one of these. I don't see organic white bread. I usually get it at Trader Joe's, so yeah. Let's go to those cookies and snacks, see what they have. Ooh, hot dog buns, 80 cents. Wow, that's pretty good. Graham crackers, $1.19. That's pretty good. Cheez-Its, I wonder if they do taste like Cheez-Its. Well, they have the regular Cheez-Its for, but that's small box. Saltines for 90 cents. That's pretty good. Well, I'm gonna get some of these to go with the soup. Only like a dollar. Oh, 
I guess it's always good to have some. Peanut butter crackers. I don't think my kids have ever had these. Let's try them out. For 70 cents, you can't beat them. Oh my goodness, so I tried these and they were so good. I bought my mom a box of dark chocolate ones. She adored them as well and she's very picky. <laughs> Ooh, prosciutto for $2. That's pretty good. They might get some because my husband likes um, this pasta I make with prosciutto and peas and a little heavy cream. Yeah, I'm gonna get some of that. Ooh, Gouda and cubes, $2. The cheeses, uh, you do shop shadow two dollars. That's not bad. Yeah, the other ones are a little more expensive. You know, they have a lot. Oh my god, pate. <laughs> Is this like, I'm gonna get one. I'll try it out. Mm, they have a uh, thinly slice, some um, fresh slice, I guess. Oh, is this uh, turkey? Oh, buffalo. I like that. I haven't been eating sandwiches lately, though. Ooh, ham steak, three dollars. These have gone up in price for some reason. So that's a pretty good price. If you're making like a split pea soup. Hmm. To go oats. Might want to get one of these just to try it out. I'm gonna try this one. Oh wow. $2 for granola? That's a good deal. What's a honey? I make my granola though. So. Cornflakes for a dollar. That's great for um, chicken. And I usually use it for making chicken, so for a dollar it's a pretty good price. I'm gonna get a canned pineapple because I'm gonna make like this. Like Asian chicken. Okay, I'm gonna get that because it's pretty well priced. Look at those, those are cute. You get two for, that's not bad. Okay, I got about five. Five, I think, yeah, five. Ooh, all the more organic stuff. So apple juice, two something. We don't really drink juice. Salsa, one. Nighty. Almond butter. I think that's cheaper at uh, Trader Joe's. I get it at Costco, because my son loves peanut butter, so we get a ton. Simple gun, I got a nectar. Ooh, they have organic coffee. That's good. Should I get the cinnamon? Ooh, let's get the cinnamon apple one too. It'd be good just to make it for the kids in the morning. I don't have to like do the whole ordeal of making them oatmeal. Oh, and that's two nineteen. Okay, here's some chicken noodle for one eight one eighty almost. Chicken broth. You know it's always so good to have, but I'm gonna get some at Costco. Ooh, sugar, one sixty something, a dollar thirty nine for a thing of flour. That's pretty good. I don't buy chicken broth anymore. I just get like the condensed version. Let's see what else they help. You know what? This is good to have on hand if you want to thicken soups or. I'm gonna get one. Ooh, gosh. And for $1.30, can't beat it. They have different varieties of chocolate for $1.70, $1.80. Not bad. Pie crust for $1.50. Ooh, pesto for $2.25. Alfredo sauce for $1.60. And then, wait, is this Alfredo? Let me see. Yeah. It's not bad. Mm, Mexican spices, how much are these? Okay, that's pretty good. They've gone up the price. Ooh, <laughs> I'm getting a ton of these. For a dollar? Yeah, definitely. This is great for coughs and ear infections, so especially at this time of the year, get some cloves. I put on my kids' tea. This is a different type of cinnamon. It's not like the usual what you have here on the back. It's a, it tastes different. It tastes more like spicy. Not spicy. It just tastes it has more flavor. I like the Saigon though. <laughs> so the Mexican one is a little bit different. But it's uh, a little bit thinner too. Okay, this is what I buy the most. Split peas and lentils, beans. Yeah. I don't know about the prices on these. I just bought a ton of organic on uh, at Sprouts. 
Okay, your spices are 95 cents. That's pretty good. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, I wonder how much it is. I think I might get them just to make recipes, but I don't know what the price is. Oh my god, I love this sauce to make the rice with. Oh my god, it tastes so good. It's a little spicy though. Nice tomatoes with chili. The Mexican pastas, which are super cheap. And they're really good. Oh, I love it. They have a lot of suction. Ooh, they do have organic. That's awesome. For $1.95. I think I'm gonna get the kids some cute cheese. Like a half of those snacks. Ooh, Ranchero. I love my daughter loves this Mexican cheese. So good. And that's the Aldi brand. Um, this is the regular one. Ooh, look, it's a pretty board. I think already there. How much is that? Nine dollars? That's not bad. So we're having a party. Uh, I don't see any like good. This is a good one. Any more imported cheeses? Yeah, you can be pretty reasonable with it. Ooh, Parmigiano wedge. That's a good price, but it's not real Parmigiano Reggiano. Ooh, the sour cream is the best. Should I get it? I don't like, I mean, I don't really use it. So well. I should buy it. Organic cheese sticks, $2.69. That's a really good price for $1.87. No, wait, how many? I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, seven. Ooh, they even have fresh mozzarella. I'm gonna get a one for my daughter. She just loves this stuff. And then, um, mascarpone cheese for if you're making to a soup. I like adding it into to soups or sauces. Oh my gosh. I'm super happy because it came out to $159. And I bought two whole chickens and they're all organic. And I bought a ton of frozen vegetables because I was like, out. I was out of everything. I like, I had nothing. So, and my cart was gigantically full. I ran out of battery, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna show you when I get home, everything else that I did get. I'm so excited. I'm super, super happy. And even ice cream too. <laughs> this is everything that I got for $150. And I say we did pretty good. What do you think? Okay, I can't believe the eggs were like 70 cents, 79 cents or something. So I bought two to do a meal, like a breakfast burritos for my son as meal prep. And so you can pop in the microwave or my husband as well. And these are $3. So that's pretty good price. If you Costco is almost the same price. So I just bought two. And you saw the potatoes. These were like 89 cents each. And you can just they're call a steam in a bag. You just pop them in the microwave for like four minutes. And they taste really good actually. They had these. I was so happy. So I like to make like this green bean pancake kind of thing. It's not sweet. Savory, it's so good though. So I'm pretty happy with this haul. Oh, also bought these. They're a dollar, dollar fifty, I think, or dollar twenty-five or something like that. That was, that was a really good price. So I figured I'd just buy a couple to have as backups. I bought another pineapple. You saw the brioche, and then the avocados. What else? Oh, this is, I didn't show you these. So I bought the bacon. Last week it was like four, no, $3.50. Today was like $4. And these were like a dollar. So I bought two of those so I can put in the breakfast burritos for my son. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> my five uh, bags of ground beef organic and they got two chickens and two whole chickens i'm gonna put one in the my my pot so i can stick make some stock and use the chicken itself for different meals and the other one i'm gonna stick in the freezer and each chicken was like 14 one was 14 the other one was 13 dollars. so that was pretty good yeah i love it i'm pretty happy about all this it's a lot of food <laughs> I bought these as well and these mini ones they were like two dollars so or less <laughs> the cubes were a dollar fifty or dollar something so not too bad i mean i think it's good for emergencies just in case i had to run out of chicken stock or uh i use this uh chicken stock concentrate so yeah it's good to have started meal prepping a little bit i put my whole chicken in here with one onion three carrots and some slithers of 
peppers and that's just gonna make my stock for my tomato bisque and i'm gonna make also um broccoli and cheese soup for my son because he likes that with potatoes and uh this at the chicken i'm gonna actually make other recipes i'm thinking like chicken tacos or whatever or something else who knows the sky's the limit but i'm making the stock okay so i'm gonna quarter my tomatoes cut half an onion and a half i'm gonna add my onions just a little bit of olive oil just a little bit a little bit of salt just a little bit because i have a little uh salt in my stock with my garlic cloves, I took out the end and I left the skin on so they rose pretty evenly like that. In the oven they went. I deboned my chicken, I put it in a little plastic container. There's the carcasses. <laughs> and here's my beautiful broth. So I'm going to transfer this into like mason jars. There's one jar, there's one, and I use this little funnel. It's for like canning, but it works so well for like this kind of stuff. I know it's a little more time consuming to make your stock, but the flavor is just unbelievable. And I just recycle these rails, rails, whatever the sauce is called. So, so you don't have to buy them, you know? A yield too, plus this guy I'm gonna add to my soup pot that I'm making for my tomato bisque, right? There are my tomatoes roasting. They're roasting away. Oh, I think the garlic might be done. I think I'm going to pull them out. So I'm just going to squeeze out the garlic. It's hot. So you might want to wait till it cools. Look at that. That's liquid. I mean, <laughs> mushy gold, seriously. It adds everything to a different level. It's so much flavor and ugh, delicious are roasted and so to balance the acidity of the tomatoes i'm gonna add a little bit of balsamic vinegar also have onions in there and onions are very sweet so they also balance the acidity as well so you don't have to add sugar so some people add sugar you don't have to so this takes it to a different level just a little bit a little drizzle because this one's super sweet this one's aged point if you don't have an immersion blender you can pop these guys in the blender and just blend them but i'm gonna with along with the garlic I add it to my soup because I'm just gonna blend it right in the pot itself. Okay, and then when I'm gonna grab my immersion blender and blend away. Look, look how creamy that's gotten. So delicious. And with a little bit of whipping cream, just heavy cream. You can add a little bit of non-fat Greek yogurt. It's just gonna be a little bit, so it's not gonna be a lot of fat. Or you can add cashew cream. I've made it the I made it in my channel before. What else can you add? You can add creme fraiche or um, sour cream or anything creamy that you have around. You know what would be good too? Just a dollop of like ricotta cheese on top. Oh my goodness, that'd be amazing too, right? Okay, so I'm gonna pop these burgers in the oven because my oven's on, so I figure I'll just use the heat. So I add it to the ground beef. I added one egg, so one teaspoon of cumin, salt and pepper, and a little bit of paprika, and that's it. And I'm gonna pop it in the oven. And they go. Gorgeous soup. Just add a little bit of heavy cream. Stir it up. I just added like a quarter of a cup. So it just adds to the silkiness of it, and also it helps you digest the tomatoes better. Some uh, cheeses to my burgers. See, they look just like burgers. Oh, super hot though. And these are just gonna melt with the residual heat of the oven. Look, they're already melting. The oven is scorching right now. <laughs> there you go, your tomato best soup with a little burger to go along with it. And that's dinner. I'm getting dinner going. I'm starting a little bit of prosciutto with a little bit of olive oil. And I'm making this pasta that all the men in my family love, so I have to do it. Uh, I think I might add some chicken, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But I think I'm just gonna keep it simple, like I usually make it. I'm gonna start, make it crispy, and then I'm gonna make a, like a cream sauce, easy cream sauce. I'm boiling my pasta. I'm gonna add a little heavy cream. I don't have much, so. <laughs> And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. I grated this myself. It wasn't much. See? I'm zooming out a little bit. It's getting dark, so I have to turn on the yellow light. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm gonna add a little bit of milk because I don't have enough cream. 
And I'm going to thick it up with the Parmigiano Reggiano. I'm just going to add a little bit more Parmigiano Reggiano. If you don't have Parmigiano Reggiano, you can use Pecorino, Pecorino Romano. That's pretty good too. Or the one in the green can. I know things are like hard to find and this is super expensive so it is the most expensive cheese i think pretty sure it's aged like 12 months but it's unbeatable it is the king of cheeses like mario metalli says <laughs> so as my cheese has melted it's become a lot more thicker but it's not supposed to be super thick because it has a lot of flavor it has the parmigiano Reggiano and the prosciutto it has so much depth of flavor with such little ingredients three ingredients basically actually i'm gonna add one more some peas a little bit of peas oh my goodness if you need a side dish add a lot more peas and serve this oh my goodness so good like if you're like keto or whatever and you don't want to have the pasta this is insanely delicious i'm gonna add my pasta because i like pasta in goes my pasta. Oops. It's my pasta and I'm gonna stir that guy down. And lightly coat with the cream sauce. See, it's not supposed to be super thick. You don't want it super thick. Unless you really like it, you can add a little more Parmesan Reggiano, but I like it like this. It's so good because it, 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 the starch from the pasta is also gonna thicken the sauce as well. So when I was a kid, I made a variation of this, so I would fry some ham and I would add just a creme fraiche, like a, like a sour cream kind of thing, like a french cream. It's a kind of a sour cream but not as like robust, it's more like a sweet cream, more like a Mexican cream too, because they're a little bit sweeter than the usual sour cream. It's so good. And I would eat that, because whenever they made uh, something that I didn't like, I would make that. I was making that when I was like 10 years old. Look how gorgeous and simple that recipe is. It took like two minutes. Okay, so I have a lot of leftovers. I have some chicken here, some steamed rice, and then some broccoli. So I'm just gonna make some fried rice. Throw in some eggs in there, and some garlic, and soy sauce. So I just put in some olive oil in my wok, and then starting to sprinkle. Throw in my rice, and veggies. Come on. More veggies. Okay, I don't feel like chopping garlic, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, dry garlic, granulated, granulated garlic. Some soy sauce. Come on, come out, come out. <laughs> there you go. I just threw my eggs in there. I did not have enough room with this little wok. It's too small. I have a big one, but I don't know where it is. As she's usually doing the skillet, so I don't know. I don't even know why I have this little guy. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame seeds. I'm gonna chop some scallions. Dump it in my rice. And there's your vegetable fried rice. With chicken, I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Try to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.